are the one who survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. But as you can see, fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. On statues, doorways, wherever a memory will allow itself. and my daughter. You were taken from me by that which dwells in darkness. And darkness is all that is left in my life. I am thankful only that you knew little of the horror that has taken over our city since then. You are in a better place now, my love. For no place can be as troubled as our city has become. I know you are watching over me. I feel your presence by our bed when I sleep, and I hear your voice in my dreams. Stay with me, always. Now you know what we have suffered. But as I said before, you are not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan, the King of Albion. Seems your big brother's been keeping secrets. He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? Until about four years ago. He too faced the Crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived. Thanks to our care. He left with a promise. That he would return with an army and save us from the crawler. We never saw him again. King Logan did not cause this. But he did nothing to stop it. Now I ask that you do what he would not. Ben Finn has told us of your quest. Of your revolution. There are not many warriors left among us. But we have ships. And we are willing to fight beside you. Not because your brother wronged us. Nor because we thirst for revenge. But because we want protection. We require aid if we are to survive. That is the promise you must make. Help us. I promise. Then let us go to war. You have survived a terrible ordeal, but you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your brother. It is time for you and Walter to gather your allies and take Bowerstone Castle.
is he? Is he gonna make it? I do not know. The darkness is deep within him. Few ever wake. But he's improving. I mean, you're doing your thing and he's getting better, right? I do not wish to give you false hope. Perhaps it would be better if we allowed him to rest. Don't worry, he's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. <coughs> Walter? Oh, balls to you all. You're not burying me just yet. See? I told you. Yes. Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. I'm sorry I left you, Walter. You did all you could. And don't think I don't know it. I told you, you'd make me proud. Well, we didn't exactly find the army we were hoping for. And I feel about a hundred years older than when we left, but we're finally ready. You've surpassed every hope I have. You're the king. So come on, it's time to gather your generals and prepare for battle. You know, maybe I'll take a little nap first. <laughs> 